this tall looking grass here is a weed and this weed is called yellow nut sedge. It grows much more rapidly than tall fescue or Kentucky bluegrass and here it's a little bit dark green but a lot of times it'll have a very bright yellow color. One way we can tell yellow nut sedge from grass is that it has a three ranked appearance. Leaves will come off in three directions unlike grass in two directions and the stem is triangular shaped. The yellow nut sedge will come into a yard from seed and once it's established in the yard like this there, it produces little nuts under the ground that will reproduce from those nuts as well. A few small plants like this you might be able to control yellow nut sedge by pulling it but as you pull it you're going to stimulate the nuts that are under the ground and they're going to come up so you're going to be pulling this yellow nut sedge in this area for a long time until you can achieve good control. And the best prevention from yellow nut sedge and many weeds that germinate from seed is to have thick healthy turf. The best uh, chemical control out there is a product called sedge hammer. The important part about using sedge hammer for controlling yellow nut sedge is to add a surfactant, a spreader sticker, because the leaves on the yellow nut sedge are very waxy and if we spray herbicide or water on it, the herbicide in the water will beat up and roll off the leaves and not give us a good control of the yellow nut sedge. Typically you'll see yellow nut sedge populated in low areas where it's wet but here it's not a, a very low area and, and, and yellow nut sedge can grow anywhere but it, it prefers moist wet soils. Yellow nut sedge is a perennial weed and it'll be here. It may die back in the winter time but it'll continue to grow in here until we control this weed. For more information visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.